Hello, this is Krenstar, and today I have kind of an interesting concept. I have uh, two MIDI devices going on at the same time on the same track. I have Melody Sauce playing in the normal register, and then I have uh, Reason playing uh, low um, bassy type of uh, notes. And uh, basically, this is what I get. It's all cool and all. I'm getting the the, the, the dark notes and I'm getting the, the lighter uh, melodies and stuff like that. But I kind of want to split it. Um, so this idea came to me, I think, yesterday when I was on the walk. I, I bought some new uh, MIDI uh, toys and uh, um, I was going to slap them all together on the same track uh, and then see how chaotic it sounded. Um, but my first problem is is that basically the MIDI kind of prevents each other. But most and foremost, I was thinking that that it would just create chaos on the on the piano roll. There would be, um, you know, C ones going off, and then and then the, the higher MIDI notes, and then the chords would go off, and it'd be just utter utter chaos on on the thing. So how would you deal with that? Um, or maybe you got in a MIDI. Um, in the older days, they used to put all of the MIDI on one track um and they would put the bases and the, everything else on the same track or whatnot if i remember right um leading you to to kind of edit it by hand um so we're not going to do that today um that's just uh not how how i want to do roll with it so what i'm thinking is i'm going to split uh the uh the midi here let me load up battery into to two two different tracks one bass track one uh, a high register track and how we're going to do this is we're going to use note grid to separate it so uh let me uh get my uh things loaded here be right back once it's loaded okay it's loaded uh for some reason native instruments uh plugins take a while to load nowadays i don't know what it is i got i got kind of a weird drum drum track loaded um okay so now i have i have my 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 lead midi and what i want to do is i want to kind of route it into here and into here there's there's a couple of ways of doing it one of it is is that i could take the the, the insert come off of this one and then just grab it here the other one is to do audio routing all right so now we play it That sounds kind of cool on it on its own. Okay, so the bigger problem is is I got I got MIDI notes going to both sides. I want I want it separated from one or the other. Um, so what it, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, use a channel filter. I'm going to I'm going to channel I'm going to use this uh, the channel here and this is going to be a separate channel. So first we're going to put in the um channel filters. So we're going to say for this one I want only channel 2. And this one I want only channel 1. All right, and I can still hear the lows. I don't want those anymore. Uh, so I'm going to go into here. I'm going to go to the note grid. Note grid, note grid, note grid. I'm going to pop the note grid on here. All right, so the note grid has a channel out port right here, and this is what we're going to be messing with for the, for the, the rest of the video. So what we want to do is we want to separate what channel it goes out of so we're gonna do a little we're gonna go into the math area we're gonna use a constant i want one and i want two probably could have used the the number okay so now i got i got two constants i'm gonna i'm gonna read it into here and i want um 
I want either a toggle or a select. I think a select probably would do it. So I want to go, okay, so if, if one, the other, and then boom. We got we got we got this. And now we have to select. So one of the ways you can do it is is like doing the the um using a button. So um Get a button. So we can click the button, go to one channel, click the button, go to the other channel. So let's see. In practice, let's let's see how this works. Close this. Grab both of these again. That's not going to be annoying. Alright, I, I, I'm not really liking or enjoying the having to, to, to put my thing on there, so oops, let's go to all. What we're going to do is we're going to um, change it. I'm going to use the note um, receiver. I'm going to say we're coming from Melody Sauce. Actually, note grid. Same thing over here, note receiver. Okay, as you can tell, I'm only hearing stuff from my, my, uh, thing. That's because this is still... So I'm receiving notes. Huh. Okay. It's kind of odd, but working the way way I wanted to. Dish. funky with this. cool so far okay but we're we're kind of we're kind of i kind of want to 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 uh use the uh midi here i mean the uh keys that are coming in their fetch uh whatnot to kind of guide things and we're going to use a little bit of math to help us with that um we're going to use the well uh, is it math? no it's logic sorry um we're going to use the come on Greater than or equal to, and we want the less than or equal to. Okay, and then what we're going to say is we're going to say if it's greater than, um, let's say C2. Actually, we don't even need that. We, we can just do it with one right now. Let's say if, we, if we're greater than C2, so let's grab our pitch, let's do the constant. And then let's knock it down to C2. And say that if it's greater than C2, throw throw this down there. So now it should route all of the the stuff to um, the uh, the the first constant. Of separation we have uh, basically all of the, the, the lower than C1s are going to 
the uh, channel two and all of the um, higher, higher <laughs> the the higher than C twos are going to one channel and the lower than C twos are going to another channel or it's going to the default channel. The bigger problem is is that I think the it's it's not. Um, Oh yeah, I'm 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 Yeah, never try this again. So this is uh, taking off voice stacking, which means that I think it can only do one instance at a time, even though we got number of voices. But if we go on there, you're hearing the rest of the MIDI notes come through because this should be playing more than just the bass drum. Bass drum, snare, hat, some percussion. So, which better known as E1, E, F, F1. And this is all being driven. I hear my voice being louder. This is all being driven by the uh, battery that you're hearing the, the percussion coming from. And then if we want to say add um, some type of uh, sub sounding bass, it goes along the C1, C2s. We could um, just put in the note receiver. And then the note um, or the, the channel filter. And then since we're looking for the lows, we want to put it on, I think it's two. following the percussion um so what we could do is we could filter out go to back to three and then we'll have a um transposer put it after the filter and then we'll knock it down two octaves
you got yourself a loop. Um, so, at any rate, uh, like I said, I was I was thinking about it. A couple of MIDI devices going on the same track. How will we separate them? Um, pretty easy. You just uh, put in a little uh, separator here in the note grid. Boom, you got you got yourself a, a separation. There are, of course, other ways in Bitwig to do it. Um, this one I was just thinking about it, uh, the other day, so I wanted to show it off. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope uh, you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.